Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are here with a review of the first Marvel Studios, the first 10 years uh, box set, three pack, Iron Man 3. I uh, got my hands on this at Toys R Us here in Canada today. So I'm reviewing this with you guys. Did a live unboxing uh, of this pack already. So I'm not going to be unboxing this one. This one is for someone that purchased it from me. But uh, I'm going to use this to show you guys the packaging. There's a close-up on the description from Iron Man 3. Number 4 on the side of the box there shows you that this is the fourth package uh, for the uh, collage that the boxes make on the side when you do all, you get all of them. Uh, there's the description on the back for Pepper, for the Mark 22, and for the Mandarin. Go back and pause if you want to read those. And then we've got the Iron Man 3 movie poster there on the back. Uh, and then if you're curious, there's the UPC. So yeah, there it is. And as I mentioned, I've already unboxed my copy of this. So here is the Mandarin. Here's the Mark 22. And here is Pepper with the armor arm. So I will just move this box out of the way now. So we have a white background to work with. And there they are, out of the package. We'll start with Mr. Trevor Slattery, Ben Kingsley. Look at that face sculpt. Look at those eyes. Beautiful work. Looks like there's even like a an, an eyebrow there that's loose. So his head can go up pretty well. As you might expect, the beard gets in the way on the way down. Only moves so far. A little bit of a swivel, not too much. Side to side, not very good either because of the beard. Uh, Trevor's mostly just going to be chilling, watching soccer. Ole, ole, sorry. Uh, his arms go out so far. A little bit higher than just straight out. Um, typical articulation you'd expect. However, his elbows are just a single ball joint. So he does not have double jointed elbows. He's not going to be answering any phone calls. Nice detail on the Mandarin rings. Look at those. But as you can see from the robe, there's not much articulation in those wrists. There's the rings. I don't have the ten rings memorized. I don't remember what they all are supposed to do. Each one provides a power to the Mandarin. I forget what they are though. Uh, very nice detail on the cloak. Look at that floral pattern. Very, very nice. It'd be nice if there was a hood. Uh, I would love to get a soft goods uh, version of this so I could have the hood as well. It looks like you can take this off. I, I tried to a little bit. I didn't want to force it though. I don't want to wreck a brand new toy. So, um, Painted undershirt. The plastic is green, so that's not painted. It's got the uh, belt or cummerbund with some nice detail and paint application on it. Uh, the lower half of the figure, I believe, comes from uh, Punisher from Netflix. So he's got upper thigh cut there, legs move up that far, back only so far because of the cloak, but uh, double jointed at the knee. So that's pretty good, good articulation there. Not that he needs it, he just kind of sits around in the film. Uh, no boot cut, upper thigh cut, but no boot cut, uh, but pretty good ankle articulation. And as you would expect, ankle pivot. So there you go, guys. There is Trevor. Let's we'll move this for a quick photo. Got it. Okay, next up, Iron Man Mark 22 suit of armor. As I was taking this out of the package, I realized, hey, wait a minute. This looks an awful lot like War Machine. And it does. Um, you can see the the chest piece here, the arc reactor here, is similar to War Machine. But then as you look at the back here, this is what gives it away, guys. Look at this. These are the holes for War Machine's big guns and stuff that go on the top of War Machine's armor. So uh, I think pretty confident we've got some reused parts here. Uh, this head sculpt can only look up this far which isn't very far. Uh, can look all the way down, which is pretty good. But um, 
interesting these flaps here on these these arms so because they're ball joints they can go all the way up there's nothing impeding them from going all the way up but uh, these flaps uh, you got a little swivel up there double jointed elbows as you'd expect there we go good fighting poses there a uh, little bit of issues with the wrist you guys the wrists have the full articulation but they don't have full range of motion because of this piece here. So they go down this way, but they don't go up all the way. And then they've got the swivel. So a little bit of a challenge with the wrists. The uh, torso articulation doesn't go forwards. I'm not putting too much pressure on it. It goes back plenty, like too much. You'd probably want to do flight mode right about there. But um, I'm not getting anything forwards. You got some swivel, which is good, but... Nothing forwards. No articulation at the waist. Uh, you can see the exposed ball joints on the legs, so they go out. I don't know why you do that. Uh, armor gets in the way from moving forwards. Pretty good moving back. Double jointed at the knee. Looks pretty good. And then the ankles. So some issues with the wrist articulation. Also some issues with the ankle articulation because of this molded detail. These these guards like the paint app is awesome those flames look really good but because of the extra molding around the foot although you can see that there's a ball joint there's a joint in there nothing it doesn't move and I'm forcing it pretty good but there's just no way I can't I can't get that to move at all but uh, it looks cool so if you're building your own uh, Hall of Armor out of Marvel Legends. That is a pretty good looking piece. Okay, and then last but not least, the figure that I think most people are excited about. We have Ms. Gwyneth Paltrow. We have Pepper Potts here. Really nice face sculpt. Let's get a nice and close on the face sculpt. Looks really good. You can tell who it is right away. The hair is pretty, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of hair, it's pretty thick. Uh, it makes it so she can't look up very far at all. Uh, it's soft enough in the front that she can look down, which is useful. But then, of course, the back comes up. Uh, typical swivel a little bit and uh, side to side blocked by the hair. You can just lift it out of the way and she can turn sideways, turn her head sideways. Arm articulation is uh, limited, as it usually is on the female figures. Arms go up this far. Can go all the way around. Uh, single jointed at the elbow, uh, pivot at the elbow, and then the wrists are typical articulation that you'd expect. Rotate around, and then we've got a torso articulation is pretty good. Can go up that far. Can go forwards that only that far. Not not as good doing that direction. Uh, no waist. Uh, articulation and then the leg articulation uh, goes up this far but can only go back this far uh, as you can see uh, upper thigh cut double jointed knee and then typical ankle articulation ankles go forward this far back this far and then ankle pivot and then the last little piece that we have here, this arm comes out. And then we get this Iron Man piece here. A little uh, iron armor sleeve. The, the sleeve is articulated with a ball joint, uh, which allows for a swivel. So you've got some swivel there. Uh, and then the ball obviously lets you go in and out, up and down. And then the, the elbow is double jointed, which is pretty good. But here's the problem, you guys. The only issue I find with this set, uh, the limitations on this, it, the only other problem is a limitation on this wrist. Look at this wrist, guys. It's one solid piece. You can see the mold line starts here. It goes all the way up the thumb. It's a solid piece. And then just to make matters worse, they molded, they glued this on top this extra little piece here. So this wrist is locked in that position. You can't rotate it, there's nothing you can do with it. So for, for 
you to do a dynamic pose where Pepper is blasting somebody, you pretty much have to have her holding the arm up in the air like this. Like you'd want to try to get it closer if I demonstrate what I'm talking about with the other arm. You kind of want to have a pose like this. You'd want to have the hand open straight ahead, find a repulsor blast aggressively. But in order to get the repulsor blast pointing in a straight line, you have to have the arm out on an angle because like out like this. So you compare those two, right? This is kind of what you'd hope to find using a repulsor blast, but this is the only way to get this blast effect pointing forwards is to put the arm out on an angle a little bit. So kind of a bummer, um, but after comparing this arm with the Mark 42, I'll take the arm off because it makes it a lot easier. Come on. Oh, I don't want to break this. Put that arm back in so I don't lose it. After comparing with the Mark 42, you can see that the hand sculpt is nearly identical. Like, it literally looks like it's the same hand sculpt. So if you want to get fancy, you want to get um, some customization work done there, remove the joint from each of these here, if you have an extra Mark 42 lying around, and then you'd have to sculpt around here a little bit. To, to, to make it smaller because this one is a bit smaller but you could do a swap and then you'd have the ability to get this wrist all the way up and rotate so if you really want to get your pepper looking really good like this mark 42 armor with the wrist pointed straight out at you like this straight line right looks good um, you're going to have to do a little bit of customization. So, some comparisons really quick. We've got the Mark 22 next to the Mark 42. Looking pretty good. Pepper next to the Mark 42. Not too bad. And then Trevor. Trevor Slattery. I think he should be a bit shorter. They kind of make him look shorter in the film, I think. But uh, yeah, let's get some more comparisons, shall we? We have Thor from the Ragnarok 2-pack. Looks pretty good. Another likeness to compare, right? Can you tell who the actor is just by looking at the action figure? This one actually I think is kind of tough to tell because of the facial hair. But Ben Kingsley, that looks exactly like him. What else do we got? We've got Chris Pratt, Star Lord, next to the Mark 22. Not too shabby. Same height. I wonder if that's proper scale. I wonder if she should be shorter. Look, she's the right height next to the suit, I think, but maybe she should... Or maybe Chris Pratt's just short. I don't know. I have no idea. Next to the Mandarin. Pretty good. Last but not least, because I'm so happy with this figure, the uh, Marvel... Diamond Select, Marvel Select, Age of Ultron uh, Hulk. Really quick comparison here. He is huge. I'm so happy. I still have to do a review on this. Look for that later. I'll do a full review on this figure because he's a beast and I'm absolutely in love with it. Okay, I just gotta do one more. I think. No, it was Pepper. I didn't do a picture with Pepper. We'll do one quick picture. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for joining me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Tried to get this out to you guys as fast as I possibly could. Wanted to get the first review out there on YouTube. So thanks, for, thanks so much for joining me. If you like the review, uh, please press the subscribe button. Uh, reach out on Instagram. If you want some more pictures, I'm going to be taking lots of pics tonight. Post them on Instagram. And uh, yeah, be excellent to each other. And we'll see you next time, guys.